A former Panhandle public defender has been sentenced to prison after being found guilty of a felony cocaine possession charge. KNEB.TV News starts right now. From your trusted source for news in western Nebraska and eastern Wyoming, this is KNEB.TV News. Presented by Platte Valley Companies, premier provider of financial services. Hello, I'm Ryan Murphy. This is KNEB.TV News, powered by Platte Valley Companies. Thanks for joining me. In our top story, former Boxwood County public defender John Worthman has been denied a new trial and sentenced to three years in prison following a conviction earlier this year on a drug distribution charge. Before sentencing on Friday, defense attorney Martin Chaluka argued a plea agreement involving Jeff Lujan and the trade-offs involved with a number of cases that should have been disclosed before and during the trial and constituted new evidence going to Lujan's credibility. However, District Judge Richard Birch agreed with Special Prosecutor Doug Warner that Lujan's credibility had been attacked multiple times during the trial and he overruled the motion. Birch followed with a sentence of no less than the mandatory minimum of three years and no more than three years for Worthman's conviction on a Class 1D felony charge of possession of a controlled substance. Chalupka told Birch that there would be likely an appeal and she wanted to represent Worthman if he decides to do so in the future. Well, a rural Scottsdale man last week passed away from injuries sustained in a crash involving a pickup towing a horse trailer and a dump truck in southwestern Kansas. The Kansas Highway Patrol says 23-year-old Hadley McCormick, a graduate of Mitchell High School, was one of two people killed when the vehicles made contact as the pickup attempted to pass the construction vehicle. The contact sent the pickup into the north ditch where it rolled and the trailer detached. Another occupant of the pickup from Colorado died from his injuries and the driver from Rock Springs, Wyoming suffered minor injuries. All were members of the Oklahoma Panhandle State University rodeo team headed to a rodeo in Garden City, Kansas. Well, coming up after the break, a breezy start to the work week. The lawyer's got your full forecast right after this on KNEB.TV News. At Platte Valley Bank, we believe it shouldn't cost you money to access your money. That's why we offer free ATMs anytime, anywhere. Whether you are across town or traveling abroad, there won't be an added expense to access the funds in your Platte Valley Bank account. Free ATMs are just one of the great benefits of banking with us. Stop by to talk to one of our friendly associates to discuss what else Platte Valley Bank has to offer. This is KNEB.TV weather from the KNEB Storm Center, your trusted source for weather. We're going to have windy conditions around the area early this evening, and then skies turn partly to mostly cloudy throughout the overnight hours, and temps are getting much colder. Notice those uh, 20s out there after we had very mild conditions to start the day yesterday. It's going to be windy, especially early. Much colder tomorrow. That's the one big wrinkle in our seven day forecast before it turns milder. And we really have a warm Easter weekend coming. 67 yesterday after a morning low of 26. That's uh, not too bad out there. Let's take a look at uh, precip. We ended up with some more on Friday. We're up to 323 now for the month, 423 for the year. Those both running over two inches above normal. Well, can you see there's a cold front in here somewhere? 46 in Laramie, 31 in Casper, 80 in Hayes. There's a very sharp, steep line here of 70s. We had highs well into the 70s today earlier. A very pronounced difference here. 37 in Lusk, 74 
in Ogallala and warmer there off to the southeast. So big temperature gradient is that cold front diving to the south and east. Winds are still very strong, 20 to 30 gusts, 40 to 50 miles an hour at times, and that's driving wind chills down as well. Now we do have some high wind warnings that continue through midnight here for most of the area. High wind warnings stretch out further to the east into Nebraska and uh, the whole area really encompassed by those high wind warnings through the nighttime hours tonight. Tomorrow, getting on the bus, it's going to be partly cloudy. Temperatures in the 20s on the way home, unfortunately only in the low 40s with a fair share of clouds out there tomorrow as well. A good deal of clouds around the area tonight. We'll put this forecast in motion, kick some of those out. Clouds really streaming across the area from southwest to northeast. And then you'll notice the flow changes tomorrow here in a moment, but you'll see low temperatures tonight, much colder than where they were this morning down into the 20s. And that's going to lead to much colder high temperatures for tomorrow as well. We'll start the future cast tomorrow, pushing those clouds out. More clouds start to come from the northwest to the southeast here across the region. And it's going to generally be a partly to mostly cloudy day tomorrow, clearing late tomorrow night and into early Wednesday as we start the warm up on Wednesday. It's going to be a slower warm up for Wednesday, but things really look nice by Thursday and especially into the weekend. 30s and 40s tomorrow. That's all we're going to be able to muster for highs. We don't have much coming in the way of precip or snow over the next uh, 36 hours. Uh, it's going to be a dry frontal passage, but certainly windy. Winds go down a bit, still gusting 40 plus here in the evening. Colder conditions down around 27, much colder tomorrow. Uh, that's 30 plus degrees colder than where we were today. 44 with gusts over 40 at times, so it will be breezy, not as windy as today. And then our seven day forecast about 10 degrees warmer on Wednesday, and then the warm up really gets underway near 70 by Thursday in the 70s, Friday, Saturday, and 80 not out of the possibility for Easter Sunday. Very nice stretch of weather coming here over the course of the next seven days. Why settle for Wi Fi that just usually works? Why settle for customer service that's subpar? Why settle for service that's outdated? You don't have to. Settle for more with Allo, the faster, more reliable internet experience that's built for the way you use all your devices. For answers, visit us at allofiber.com slash switch today. Allo, settle for more. Are you looking for the perfect place to hold a wedding, family reunion, holiday office party, or business meeting? Well, look no further. The Hampton Inn and Suites Hotel and Conference Center is just the place for you. We're a full service banquet facility that can host up to 400 of your guests. Stop in and see our spacious open concept meeting rooms and begin planning your special event or family gathering today. Let us do the work for you so you can enjoy your guests. For personal service, stop by the Hampton Inn and Suites front desk. back. Lake Minotaur State Recreation Area was reopened to the public again starting this past weekend. The recreation area was closed after a waterfowl die-off was reported in early March with staff collecting the birds and sending some to be tested for the cause of death. The lab results received on March 26th indicated the cause of the event was a low risk to public health. The lake serves as a stopover location for migratory fowl along the central flyway which stretches from Mexico to Canada across the Great Plains and experiences approximately 24 avian mortality events each year. Those events are typically caused by disease, trauma or emaciation and tend to occur during migration. Well, a 14 year old student of Sioux County Schools took top honors as the Nebraska Junior Duck Stamp Contest was judged last week. Best of show this year was won by Hannah Crane of Harrison, whose colored pencil drawing depicting a wood duck was selected from nearly 300 entries received from across the state. Her drawing will be entered into the National Junior Duck Stamp Competition that will be held on April 16th. The winner of the national competition receives $1,000, a trip along with a parent or guardian to participate in the first day of sale for federal duck stamps and will have their artwork used to make the 2021 2022 Junior Duck Stamp. Proceeds from the sale of the Junior Duck Stamps, which cost $5, support conservation education. And Nebraska's economy continues to feel the pain of the coronavirus, but it's clear that the state has ridden out the economic crisis better than most states. 
Nebraska has yet to recover roughly one-third of the nearly 100,000 jobs it lost last spring, but the rate of the job losses in the state was the sixth lowest in the country. Nebraska's unemployment rate is tied for third lowest. Governor Pete Ricketts said Nebraska has weathered the pandemic as well as we could have, and it helps that the state has a diverse economy and some of its biggest industries were able to transition to having employees work from home successfully. Well, coming up after the break, Chris Cottrell with another signing. I'll have that right after this on KNEB.TV News. Many people count on space heaters and electric blankets to help stay warm in the winter. Here are a few safety tips. Space heaters need space all around them? Only buy space heaters that are tested and labeled by a national recognized facility. Before using a space heater or electric blanket, inspect the cord for cracks or warm spots. Finally, turn off electric blankets when not in use. Space heaters and electric blankets can provide needed comfort or can be deadly if not used with care. So use caution this winter season. This message is brought to you by Chimney Rock Public Power District. Your touchstone energy partner, the power of human connections. I've struggled with my weight since I was 13, but weight loss surgery changed my life. I've lost 120 pounds, 80 inches, and gained a whole new outlook on life. Weight loss surgery may be the answer to your weight and health problems. Regional West offers the support of skilled surgeons and a dedicated bariatric team for your journey to a healthier you. Learn more about weight loss options at Regional West. It's time for a new you. Compliments for you and your home welcomes you to our new look and remodel celebration, March 26th through April 3rd. Start with our progressive sale. Buy one regular priced item and get 10% off. Buy two, get 15%. Or purchase three or more and get 20% off. Save on our new tribal, Charlie B, Ethel and more. Plus add an additional 20% off clearance apparel and register to win a garden stake with Spinner. Finally, visit our newest addition, Katie Chandler and her salon. Join us March 26th through April 3rd at Compliments for You and Your Home. Now, sports from the FNBO Sports Desk. FNBO, the great big small bank. Plenty of WNCC sports from the weekend. More on the way this week and signing season continued late last week here in town. Those are the topics for today here as we check in from the sports desk. The WNCC schedules were active on a Sunday. The baseball team split Four games over the weekend at home against Trinidad State. That big effort from Scott's Bluff grad and former West Coast Zephyr Trent Richter on Saturday, the five-inning no-hitter. Richter, after he finishes up this season with the Cougars, he'll pitch over at Oregon Trail Park Stadium this summer for the Pioneers. Yesterday, Trinidad able to win both games a two-and-two -two weekend for the Cougars. WNCC blasted eight home runs in the two losses yesterday. Also yesterday, the Cougar men's basketball team lost at home to Otero 98-93. Same two teams plus the women's matchup tomorrow. The final regular season games start late afternoon at Cougar Palace and WNCC Volleyball. They'll be off to Casper for the Region 9 tournament starting on Wednesday night. We'll have coverage with Chuck for both hoops tomorrow and volleyball from Wednesday through the weekend on KOZY 1013. Now let's rewind to last Thursday night over at the 16th Empire where family and friends gathered to celebrate Scotts Bluff senior football player Alex Galindo as he signed with Hastings College. Uh, I chose Hastings just because it felt like home and I had a gut feeling to go there. And uh, it's a great, they have a great football program, they have great facilities and it's just a great school all around. After starting in the Scotts Bluff secondary as a junior, Galindo really emerged in his senior season, becoming the go-to playmaker for the Bearcats on offense. Galindo rushed for over 800 yards and scored a total of 17 touchdowns on the season. Galindo's hard work pays off in the form of a dream come true. Uh, it feels good just to be able to go to college and play football and get another education. Um, I've been try uh, I worked hard for this and. I've been trying to play football at the next level. That's what I've been working for. And just being able to go there just means a lot to me. 
The versatile playmaker gets high marks from his head coach Judd Hall, and then Galindo says whatever's needed at Hastings, he'll be ready to answer the bell. He just put in the work, put in the time to get himself in a position to be ready when his name was called. You know, he's a different, uh, different type of back than we've had in the, in the past in our in our system, but he proved that you don't have to be a big, heavy, bruiser kid in our system to have success. Um, just work hard and good things will happen for you in our system. And Alex is a, is a testament to that. You know, he's, he's also a very versatile athlete and we were able to do a lot of different things with him um, to, to use his skills, to use his talents on the opposite side of the ball. You know, and a lot, this year, a lot of the focus was on, on offense. You know, a lot of the talk was on offense about Alex, but people forget that he was a, he was a starter for two years in the secondary force and made a lot of plays on that side of the ball as well. So he's a, he's a true uh, all-around football player. So they told me, they're talking to me like a uh, wide receiver and running back, so like a flex. When I get there and they said like if they needed me to play at corner, I said I'd be able, I'd more than glad to. Scott's Bluff senior Alex Galindo signing to play football at Hastings College. Let's check the prep schedule quickly for today. A little bit of soccer. The Scott's Bluff girls will be at home to take on North Platte. Boys are on the road for that same matchup. And for tomorrow, Gearing will be in action as well in different spots for their matches with Torrington. That'll cover it for today. The latest from right here at the FNBO TV Sports Desk. I'm Chris Cottrell. We'll be back with more with Ryan right after this on KNEB.TV. Hey y'all, Heather here with Platte Valley Vac & Sew. Platte Valley Vac & Sew has been a cornerstone in downtown Scotts Bluff since 1977. Our family brings over 100 years combined experience in the vacuum and sewing machine industry. We stand behind all of our products with a warranty you can trust and service you can count on. Whether you decide to shop in store or online at platteballeyvacandsew.com, our quality products and customer care shine through. You can buy online, sign up for classes, see a calendar of classes and events, view our newsletter and stay up to date. Platte Valley Vac & Sew, downtown Scotts Bluff and online to serve you. When you call Gearing Valley Plumbing and Heating, you will have options. Repair it, rebuild it, or update it. Whether your furnace stops working or your bathtub won't drain, Gearing Valley Plumbing and Heating provides the services you need to be comfortable. Weekends, holidays, or late nights, we will be there. With over 30 years of service, our certified technicians and cutting-edge technology can keep your systems running at their peak efficiency. Gearing Valley Plumbing and Heating, every time we enter your home, we leave it a better place to live. When it comes to helping local folks with the loans and financial advice they need, we don't horse around. Our only goal is to help you and your family achieve your financial goals with the right loans and savings products. So if you want to bank with people that care about you and your financial needs, stop by or give us a call. First State Bank. We're big on you. Member FDIC. Online at fsbcentral.com. Well, let's take a look what's happening on today's community calendar. That's a look at today's community calendar brought to you by First State Bank, honoring those who give back. Nominate your community champion at fsbcentral.com. 
Fly United Airlines operated by SkyWest with Western Nebraska Regional Airport. United is dedicated to going the extra mile for you with daily flights to and from Denver along with a commitment to excellent service. Reserve your flight today and remember United Miles can be earned and redeemed with your flights. While at the airport, stop and enjoy authentic Italian food at Roma Italian Restaurant. Plus, Hertz Thrifty Car Rental is there for your car rental needs. Make life easier, relax, and get on board with Western Nebraska Regional Airport. At Platte Valley Bank, we offer loans with competitive rates and quick decisions from our experienced lenders. Our team works hard to get to know you and your business. From ag to auto, home loans and everything in between, we're here to help. Stop by Platte Valley Bank or apply online to find the loan that is right for you today. And finally tonight, a Scottsbluff institution has been celebrating their 50th year in the community with special deals for diners and an open house. The Dairy Queen on 27th Street opened the doors in March of 1971 and has seen a variety of changes over the years. One thing that hasn't changed is the last name of the family that has owned and operated the local franchise, with Joe Ostry starting the business, which is now mainly the responsibility of his two daughters. He says he's very proud of the support from the community over the years and how the local DQ has been a gathering spot for generations. People come here and they share their experiences, they bring their family with them, and, and it's just it's very heartwarming. It's nice to see that. And then to see the parents bring their grandchildren in, it's beyond description. On Thursday, the business celebrated with items for just 50 cents, the same price for their opening special five decades ago. And on Friday, it was a special cake, handshakes, and smile from friends and acquaintances for Joe, his daughter Yvonne, and the entire family at the local DQ. Well, that does it for us this time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Stay safe out there, and we'll see you here next time.